All right, guys. So I've recorded this video twice. Tried to upload it twice to YouTube, and it's just taking forever. <clears throat> I had it uploading all night last night, and it still wasn't. So I'm coming on here to do it on my phone because I know it doesn't take that long to actually upload from my phone. So I'm coming to you guys with a little Q and A video. Um, I put a little question poll on my story about uh, training, nutrition questions, um, just anything you guys wanted to know basically. And I got a couple questions that I'm here to answer for you guys here today. So first question being, how do I stay motivated? So being motivated and being driven are two different things. So I'm not always motivated, but I'm always driven. I'm driven to strive towards my goal, my passion, you know, the task at hand, what I need to get done. So I wake up some days and I don't feel motivated to go to the gym, but I'm driven and I know that I need to go to the gym because I need to stay consistent. Um, you can't fall off because then you never reach the end goal. So you're not always motivated, but you have to be driven. You have to know what you really want, um, what you want to accomplish. And if it's gonna take you a long time, you better start early and get it done. So next question is, how do I gain weight if I have a fast metabolism? So a fast metabolism, um, I would just say incorporate more meals, start eating more food. Um, if you're eating three meals a day, start putting snacks in between those three meals. And then your stomach will stretch, adapt, and learn to crave food more so then turn those snacks into meals. So get up to eating four meals a day, five meals a day. I don't care if you're not hungry, you have to force the food down. If you genuinely want to gain weight, you have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable eating large amounts of food. Next question. Some basics to learn if I want to get into the gym if I've never been into the gym in the first place. So the ba what I would say first is don't worry about what other people are doing. Don't worry about the weight other people are lifting. Don't worry about what other people are saying, um, trying to show you. Just do what you want to do. Honestly, one piece of advice is don't be influenced by social media. Don't be influenced by friends that are farther ahead of you in progress. You know, if you're a skinny guy and you're worried about being, you know, not the biggest guy in the gym, who cares? Everybody started. Everybody starts somewhere. Everybody starts from ground zero. Not everybody's the strongest. Not everybody can lift the most amount of weight or look the best in a week at the gym. It takes time. So learn to be okay with how long it's going to take to actually get there. Next question, how do I kill food cravings? Food cravings are gonna come regardless. If you're in a calorie deficit, food cravings are inevitable. They're not gonna just decease and no longer exist if you're in a calorie surplus there's no reason why you should have food cravings um, as much you might crave sweets but the longer you stay on a diet like a strict like structured plan even if you are trying to gain weight don't do it all dirty because then it makes it that much harder to come off those dirty foods so if you are in a deficit I'd recommend you know sugar-free drinks uh, flavorings for your water, diet sodas, um, anything that's kind of going to, it might bloat you a little bit, but that's okay because you're not putting any extra calories in you, so you're not gaining any fat, so you're not going to look any worse than you did before you drank it. I mean, granted, if you chug a diet soda, if you chug a two liter, yeah, you're going to be bloated, you're going to look like you're holding fat, but once that bloat comes off, you're still going to look the same. Next question, how do I get stronger while getting leaner at the same time? You progressive overload the shit out of everything. Meaning, every lift, you work on building more reps with higher weights, you build higher weights with lower reps, you just, they coincide with each other. So get stronger in all rep ranges while being in a slight calorie deficit. So if you're trying to get stronger, as strong as possible while getting leaner, it's, it's a long, long-term game. You don't, you're not gonna get there in six weeks. You might lose more fat in six weeks if you did a, you know, a, a heavy deficit, but that's not the goal because you wanna gain strength. So do like a, ca like a hundred calorie deficit, no cardio, train your ass off, progressive overload the shit out of everything and you will get stronger. Next question. 
uh, centering carbs around training. So if you're in a diet phase, if you're in a deficit, I would highly, highly, highly suggest centering your carbs pre-workout and post-workout. Meaning if you're on 50 grams of carbs a day, I would do 25 pre-workout, 25 post-workout. If the lower you get, like say 30, 40 grams, I would put those all pre-workout, none post-workout. You need that fuel in the gym. You need to be able to get a pump. If you're not getting a pump, that means you're flat. The longer you stay flat, you will lose tissue if you stay flat for week or weeks on end. So center them around training pre and post workout. Next question, training partners versus training alone. A training partner can make or break a physique. Honestly, if you guys have the same mentality, the same attitude towards training, they will make you better. If your training partner is genuinely mad or upset because you didn't progress and they could give fuck all about their set, they are made for you. If they're pushing you to do better and are hurt or upset when you don't progress, then they really are there to help you. If you can't find somebody who has that same attitude or same mentality as you, you know, I basically, what I say is I'll give you as much effort as you give me. If you're giving me 100% of you during a training session, you know, you're yelling at me, you're hyping me up, you're spotting me good, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm going to do the same to you. But if you're just, just there gawking at me in the mirror, you know, whatever, then I'm not going to give two shits about how you're doing, how you're progressing and all that. So you have to distinguish whether or not they're made for you. Don't, a training partner isn't just not, it's not one size fits all. Uh, everybody has different needs when it comes to training partners. And then last question is how to bring up weak areas, weak points. So you need to manipulate frequency, volume, um, how you perform sets, you know, exercise selection. So if you have a weak body part, I'd suggest training it twice a week. You might be able to throw in, you know, an extra day where you do some touch up work. Um, and then your body parts that don't lag, you know, don't train them as often, you know, train them once a week. Um, like my legs, I train them maybe once a week, once every eight days because my legs just grow. Uh, right now, coming off an injury, I do have legs every five days because I'm trying to get them back to where they were. And then once they are, you know, I will uh, back off the training a little bit and then focus more on uh, my other weak areas. And then exercise selection is a big thing. So you might be doing back twice a week and you, you might think you're killing your back and you literally might be killing your back. Like you feel fried, you feel sore, but it might not be working because that exercise don't work for you. You know, a barbell row puts so much, you know, pressure on the lower back and the hamstrings, and you might be focusing all your attention on that instead of actually rowing for your actual back growth or density in your back. So you have to find what exercises work for you, you know, cycle through a different um, back workouts or whatever, you know, uh, body part workout is it, it is that your weak point is, and then assess the situation there. It's like, again, like I said, it's not a one size fits all. Everybody has different exercises that are gonna work for them. Not, it's not, not everything's gonna work for everybody. So you need to uh, pick the exercises that work for you. And once you do pick those exercises that work for you, stick with them. If you're scrolling through Instagram, trying to find your workout for the day, you are not gonna progress because everybody tracks their nutrition, everybody tracks their cardio, but nobody tracks their training. And I highly, highly, highly advise it if you want to build more muscle because you build more strength if you do that workout week after week after week, building on more reps, building on more weight. So you can progress it every week and make progress that way. So if you're tracking your nutrition, you're tracking your cardio, you best believe you need to track your training. If you're not tracking anything and you're just going in to have a good time with the buddies, you know, so what? But don't expect the progress that, you know, everybody else is receiving. So I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. I'm honestly irritated because the video wouldn't upload. So I'm trying to keep this below 10 minutes. Thank you guys for tuning in. I would like to do a Q&A at least once a week. So when I post a question, poll to my story, please answer and uh, ask some questions that you genuinely want to know because I, I don't really don't get that many, so I will post them all. So uh, until next time, guys, I'm about to go in and kill this, uh, this arm workout, and I'll see you in the next one.